In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Connect Land docking station to clone a drive. In this case, it's going to be a Western Digital 40 gig drive to a Western Digital 80 gig drive. Now, this doesn't have to be made by the same manufacturer, but um, you could use something like a Seagate drive or a uh, Maxter drive, whatever it might be. Um, it doesn't have to be the same brand. Both of these drives here are serial ATA um, as well as the docking station is as well. Now when looking at the docking station you only see one single port. What you need to do is open it up, basically you slide out the front of this and then you can dock drive 1, the source drive, and drive 2, the destination drive. So I'll go ahead and do that now. This again is the 40 gig drive backing up to the 80 gig drive. You can't do it reverse simply because there's not enough space. What you're going to do is line up the drive like so, and then it will sit in nice and secure. Make sure that the drive is level, this way you know that the connector is actually uh, connected to the back of the drive itself. Once you do that, then you're going to do the same for the other drive. And just remember when you are doing this that your unit is turned off. So there is a, a switch on the back that allows you to turn that off. Now that we have them both in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the switch on the back and you'll hear the drive power up. Okay. Once the drives are powered up, you'll notice there are two lights on the side here. What you have to do is that between these two lights is a button. That button you need to hold down for five seconds and then the, these two lights will start flashing. When the two lights flash, it means the cloning has started. So I'm just going to go ahead and press this. One, two, three, four, five. And now what's happening is it's reading from the source drive and writing to the destination. Now this is a 40 gig drive copying to an 80 gig drive. The partitions remain the same as the 40 gig drive, which means that there will be uh, an extra 40 gig drive that is unpartitioned. So just keep that in mind when you're doing a clone. The other thing to note is when the cloning is finished, what's going to happen is the drive, uh, sorry, the, uh, the lights will stop flashing. That will indicate that it's completed. So what you then need to do is turn off the unit to take out the drive. You do not want to put in or take out the drives when the unit is uh, is live simply because you don't want to um, take a chance and damage your drives. Uh, this Connect Land uh, docking station works for both um, three and a half inch drives as well as two and a half inch drives. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments about it, please do post it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching.